The first machining operation is normally a rough facing operation to bring the workpiece length close to the program zero dimension in Z. This will provide a surface from which other length dimensions can be measured during later machining steps. On Mazak lathes, rough facing is performed in an edge statement at the beginning of a program. Finish facing is then completed in a second edge statement later in the program. The second step is normally OD roughing. When planning the OD roughing sequence, always start machining from the face of the workpiece. On this workpiece with three diameters, section A would be machined first, then section B, then section C. Although the rough and finished tool can be entered in the same process, to save machining time on Mazak lathes, most operators will add a second process later to complete the finished pass. For example, if this OD process were to remove one inch of material in Z, the rough tool would start here. If the finish tool was programmed in the same process, the finish tool would also begin at the same start point. The tool would be cutting air and wasting cycle time. ID roughing operations would be the third process. This might begin with a drilling sequence if bar stock is being used, then finish with a boring, reaming, or ID turning sequence. The finishing processes can then begin. Often, the finish edge statement is programmed first. Next, OD finishing is performed. Finally, ID finishing is completed. By performing the ID finishing passes after the finish edge pass, any burrs created on the ID by face machining will be removed. Features which include a chamfer or radius are normally included in both the rough and finish machining operations of Mazak programs. Grooves that are required for other machining operations, such as grooving the end of an OD section, which will later be threaded, should also be performed as part of the roughing operations.